Hey everyone, welcome to Whiskey Rut. Thanks for being here. This is the show where we rate and review different whiskeys. Standard barrel rating system. 10 barrels is a good whiskey for a good price. One barrel is really a not so great whiskey that it should probably just be left on the shelf. Yeah. So with that, Chris, what are we talking about today? Today's going to be the Jameson comparison. Yes. So what we're going to do is take a regular bottle of Jamo, compare it with a bottle of the Black Barrel. And uh, really the comparison is to see is it worth it, the $10 more for the Black Barrel mm -hmm. compared to the Jamo. So this is 25 it's going to be 35 Yep. And we're basically going to see is it worth it. Um, fun fact about Jameson, they've been in business 250 years almost. Uh, all they use is barley, um, so, you know, just Irish whiskeys. Yep. And I think you were uh, talking about Jameson a little bit. Just yeah. a regular bottle. So, you know, Jameson, it's it's a classic Irish whiskey. I mean, everyone knows this whiskey. Um, is it can... like, so if you're thinking of like high school or college. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. everybody obviously in high school does their thing, right? But kind of when did Jameson enter your life, I guess? Honestly, not probably till my late twenties. I wasn't a big whiskey drinker yeah. when I was younger, and well, so as far as like sipping on it, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was probably it wasn't until I was probably thirty or so yeah. that I started, and I never. I'll be honest, I just never thought of Jameson as a good whiskey. It was always just a cheap one. Yeah, like I bought it because it was like twenty twenty five bucks. Yeah, and so I could make mixed drinks with it. I didn't break the bank. Uh, I will say though that as time has passed and I've had more and more whiskeys, I've actually come to find it to be better and better. Like I really do, the more whiskey I drink, the more value I see in it. Yeah, it really is a good whiskey, and for the price, it's it's ridiculous. Twenty five bucks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Jameson <clears throat> again, it's the standard Jameson. It's it uh, uses partly malted barley, partly regular barley. Uh, it's distilled in pot stills, and then they age it in American oak barrels and sherry casks, and then they combine it to give us the Jameson we all Just, yeah. know and love. Right? Classic Jameson. What is uh, yeah. what's going on with the the Black Barrel? Black Barrel, and they've been Jameson. I, I think has really been opening their portfolio. I guess doing a lot of different things. Black Barrel, what they do is they take an old sherry cask. They take an old bourbon cask, age them in those, and then they take an extra charred used cask, and uh, they age it in that in the end. So that's where it gets its name. The black barrel comes from that extra charred mm. barrel. And um, it's a blend, so it's a whiskey blend. So it's about, you know, I think 8 to 16 years could be on that. Um, but it definitely adds a lot of different flavors compared to just a regular Jameson. Yeah. So... What's the proof? I'm just curious. Is the proof the same? Oh yeah, they're both 40% alcohol, so 80 proof, so kind of yeah. standard. But yeah, with that, well, let's get to tasting them. Let's see we'll what's do going on. Jameson first. Yep. Okay. Jamo Black Barrel. All right. All right. I mean, fruity. It's Jameson. It is. It's light, yeah. fruity, kind of like floral, maybe oh, yeah. honey. It is. It's just it smells light. Great, man. It's light and sweet. Yeah. It smells like it's. I don't, you can smell sweet. Apple. I don't know. A little bit yeah, in there. apple. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, pear. Ap apple. Pear, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But decent mouthfeel. It's not super watery. It's not super oily. No, but it's smooth. It's, it's smooth. It's light. There is. You get what you don't get in the nose. You get that floral fruit in the nose. What you yep. don't get. In the nose, you get in the taste, which you do get a little barrel spice, mm -hmm. a slight amount, mm -hmm. but it's still it's very light, and oh, it's an easy drinking whiskey. It's, yeah, man, we're twenty five bucks. It's just, and what I like about Jameson is you can like I can enjoy it neat, but you can also make good cocktails with it. Yeah, and the price is ridiculously cheap, and it's such a well known, well respected whiskey. So in, in my world, I guess, or I guess my viewpoint, Jameson, like if you're if you go to a restaurant, you go to a bar, you're not gonna order like can I get a I guess you could say I get a Jamo on the rocks, but I guess 
more from my worldview. It's it's more of like a like two shots of JMO, three shots of JMO type. Yes. Thing. Yeah. I don't feel like people are just gonna or go like go to a nice restaurant and order this to sip on. No. No. Yeah. You tend to get JMO when you're at like a bar or like a pub. Yeah. And there's stuff going on and it's crazy right. and they're serving Jameson. Right. Um, because it's just affordable. But do you think though that that has maybe kind of put a bad image on Jameson as far as the quality of the whiskey? I think. I don't know. It could. It could. I don't think people tend to think of Jameson as a good whiskey. Right. It's just an affordable one. Right. But it's I do think it's it. a good. One. I really do think it's a good one. I get a lot of apple on this, man. I do. Apple pear. Yeah, to me, this, because of the price and everything, I give it a solid nine. <laughs> I mean, it. there are better whiskeys for sure, but not for, for the money. 25 bucks, man. It's hard for the money. It's a solid whiskey. I like it. Yeah. Even the bottle doesn't scream. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a screw-off cap. Yeah. You know? Which doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't that doesn't change the whiskey, but it kind of lends itself to that image of it not being right as good, you know. Mm. What about you? I'd say a nine. Also, I'd even say a ten. Um, Cause you're right, man. I mean. Unless we start going into like the the twenties and seventeen dollar bottles, I don't know if we're gonna find really anything better for the price. Yeah. At twenty five bucks, I mean, we could look at a fireside and compare it with fireside, but I don't know, man. I mean, yeah. It's just a really, really good price, and it tastes good. Yeah. It tastes good. So I'd I'd give it a nine and a half. Nine and a half. You're welcome, Dalton. Nine and a half. Can't wait to see half a barrel. Oh man. All right. So if you're comparing them together, I don't know if I need to give you some more. Please. Like, definitely the black barrel has some darker notes to it. Off the bat, yep. I get a lot. Uh, I get a lot more wood. Wood, I get. Like it, it kind of smells like, like a piney. Not, maybe not piney. I get yeah. like a maple. I get like a mapley. Mapley syrup. This Caramel, is straight maybe. apple, man. Jameson, regular Jameson, straight apple. That's what I it's get. Like light fruit and floral. Yeah. This is like dark caramel, maple, mm -hmm. oak. Mouthfeel is the same. So, yeah, same mouthfeel. Not that. watery, not oily, but it's, mm -hmm. it's also very smooth. It has the same feel as as this Jameson, yeah. just with different flavors. So when I get this, when I taste this one, it's it's a dark fruit, like a like a cherry, dark cherry, uh, maybe like a raisiny kind of taste, a little sweet. This one is more like a fresh fruit, is what I get from that one. Some cherry, I already said cherry. Um, I, do you get any of the barrel on this? one? I do. I definitely get a like the char. Though. I do. But the it's smell mild. or the taste? It's a lot more mild on the taste. On the taste, yeah. It's a lot more mild than than I would expect. I wouldn't True. expect I mean, it's it. an extra char. Like right. when we did Deer Hammer, uh, their bourbon, that's just like drinking smoke. It's like drinking a campfire. Yeah. yeah. It's like you bottle the campfire and drink it. So this, gonna... is, this is a lot more mild, which I think is good because it's subtle. Oh, it's so And that's subtle. what I want. Yeah. All right, I was gonna rate that. I'm gonna give it the same rating. It's a nine because it, it's it's equal in value. In other words, this is ten dollars more, but I think you get more flavor. You get deeper, richer flavors out of it. Really, it would come down to a lot. Would come down to do you like lighter or darker whiskeys? But I do think I can taste more complexity in this one. And so if we're asking the question, is this worth the extra money? 
I say yes. I say yes. Yep. So, the rest hinges on you, my friend. I'm going to give this a 9. Yeah. Okay. So, 9.5, 9. And a half, nine. I don't know if it's worth it, in my opinion. I think you you just get different flavors, but I don't know if it's so much it's of a different flavor and it's better. I don't. I, to me, I don't think it's so much better. Ten bucks better. Um, so if you were going to go to the today, store and say like recommend one, you would say this is a better bang for your buck. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Um. But still, I mean, they're both really good. They're different. Yeah. You know, Jameson's doing their whole cask mate thing that they've been doing for a while. Yeah. They like the stout's really good. Um, they're doing an IPA, or they did an IPA one. So they're doing a lot of different things, which I think is going to yeah. kind of help them to sell more. But to be honest, for the price, I don't get ten bucks more with the the Black Barrel. Okay. But yeah, that's what I'd say. But still, both solid whiskeys. Oh yeah. So I guess it's undecided. You have to decide for yourself. Uh, well, thanks for joining us. So one thing we want to start doing is giving everyone a heads up with what we're doing the next video. And that way, when we're trying new whiskeys, you guys have the ability to also try those. Yes. And maybe drink them with us while we're trying them. Yeah. So next week, we'll be doing some flavored whiskeys. What are we doing? Fireball. That's right. Yep. And screwball. Fireball. Firebar. Firebar. Fire, fireball and Screwball. Fireball and Screwball. As was suggested by a couple viewers. And uh, I think we're going to have some guest hosts. Yes. Uh, next time. So. Stay tuned to that. Get some excited. Fireball. Get some Screwball whiskey. Make a jelly cocktail if you want to. Yep. But, you know. Yeah. We'll kind of see how they go. Yeah. So with that, thanks again for joining us. Of course, as always, if you like the content we're making, hit the subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. Let us know if there's something you want us to try. If there's anything, any whiskeys you want us to test out, if there's any content you want us to have, we'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions. Thanks again. Get that rut. Get out there, rut.